Hey nerds, what's up? Today I have another lady lecture for you. I'm excited! In case you didn't know, I do this series on my channel called Lady Lecture and it is stuff that has to do with female anatomy, what can happen with your period, and your sex organs, and shit like that. So let's just go on into that. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with the implant birth control called Nexplanon. Nexplanon goes in your arm, usually they put it on the arm that you don't write with, uh, so mine would have been in my left, And but I actually got it on my right because I have a very pretty tattoo right here and I didn't want them to mess it up and the doctor was nice enough to do what they're not supposed to do because it doesn't actually really matter. It's just for like the healing process which doesn't take that long anyway. It is a stick that is about that long and it's really skinny and it's white. You know a coffee straw? Like a coffee stirrer straw? Like one of those. It's only this big. That's what it looks like. In order to put it in, they numb you first. So they take this big ass needle, which is really scary. I'm not a fan of needles and things, so this was a this the scariest part of getting the next one on and also taking it out. They take this big needle of numbing stuff and they shoot you up right where it's going in and that completely numbs just this part of your body. I could still move my fingers and everything and didn't, it wasn't like a complete numbing of even the arm. Um, and then they let that sit for a little bit, then they tie you up um, to, to stop the blood flow, and then they basically take an even bigger needle to put it in that had the stick inside of it. So it's a, it's a needle that's big enough where that skinny stick can go through and they shove that in your arm and then they push it in and that's it and then it's over. Um, so it's a very quick process. I'm, I'm making it sound even more traumatic than it is because I was scared of it but I did that about a little over two years ago now. I, I got it put in. I had a really great time with it for about six, nine months. It lasts for three years and you don't have to ever think about birth control for three years, it, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to get a shot, you don't have to take a pill, you don't have to do anything. You just are safe for three years. And easy as that and boom. You can decide to take it out early, um, which is what I did end up deciding to do. You can get it taken out and the second that they take it out, you are now fertile again. It doesn't take time to like to get back to your normal cycle, you your cycle begins immediately after it's taken out. Whereas the depo shot, oftentimes you'll see women not be able to get pregnant for about six months after they stop taking it at minimum. Now that's not always the case. My aunt got her stopped her depo shot and got pregnant the following month. So it, it's not always the case, but that's the usual. And so that's one thing that the next one on can be nice for if you are only wanting a short period, you know, three years long of not having babies and then you want to get started once those three years are up, you know that you can do that. Or if your plans change in those three years, you can get it taken out and decide to have babies then too. So the first six months, I didn't get a period at all, which some people don't like not having a period. They get worried that they're pregnant or they get worried that something's wrong in their body, that their hormones aren't working correctly or normal or whatever. And I totally understand that, um, but that's not how I feel. When I was on the depo shot before I was on the next one on, I didn't have a period and I fucking loved it. And so when that continued for me during the next one on for the first six to nine months, I was really happy about that. After about six to nine months, my period came back, which I was like, that sucks, but like, power through. That's when I found the Diva Cup. I have a video all about the Diva Cup on my channel, so it'll be linked in the cards if you want to know more about that. I wasn't just getting a period once a month. I was getting a period that lasted for seven days and then having a week off and then getting another period that lasted three or four days and then having a week off and then continuing and continuing and it was not even regular like I knew it was coming even though it was coming more frequently it just it could maybe only be gone for one day and then come back or maybe it lasted like two weeks and I didn't have one and then it would come back so I couldn't even like regulate it where I was prepared, so I ruined a lot of underwear. So that was my really big complaint. So I, I still lasted like over a year dealing with this bullshit. But during the time frame of having multiple periods, I went to my gynecologist and he suggested that I should take the birth control pill uh, the mini pill, which is the lowest dose of hormones that is available in birth control form. He, he was basically saying that perhaps if you take the pill 
while being on this it'll regulate your period and it'll get you on a cycle and then it'll fix it like after about six months so I did that for six months I took the mini pill with my next Planon still being inside it did fix it so I started getting my period on a regular monthly schedule and it was a light period it was only like three or four days every month and that was nice did it for about six months stopped taking the mini pill for the next following month it still was light and then it started again and I was getting a period just like I had been multiple times a month random days out of the month sometimes once one day and then it would stop and sometimes multiple days and then it would stop and so finally I had a period that lasted 10 days I was so mad and I was on vacation so that didn't make it any better and um, and so then I called my new gynecologist and was like get this thing out of me when you get the next one on take it out of you they can't needle syringe it out they have to make a small incision it is like less than a quarter of an inch and then I think that they put in some tweezers and just pluck it out I didn't watch this part because like I said these things make me feel gross and and scared and so all I know is that it's an incision and then they take it out and so I know that they like had well they give you the same numbing needle first then they make us an incision and then they take it out it took a few minutes and then after that, I was either free to have babies, which is not what happened, or I could get on a different birth control and I went back to the depo shot, which is what I'm on now. My experience with the next plan on, I didn't love it. I did, in theory, love it. I love the idea of the next plan on, but I had this experience, my sister had this experience. I know this is a common side effect is having irregular period. So that's my experience with the next Planon. Currently I'm on the Depo shot. I really like it like I said and that is that. Comment down below what we should talk about in the next lady lecture whenever that happens. They are not a regular series on my channel. They're just whenever I have something to talk about. I really want to read Red Clocks which is a book that was on book of the month that I got for there and it is all about if abortion were made completely illegal and also in vitro fertilization is banned and all this crazy stuff and it's all about that and I kind of want to do a book review on that and talk about like the implications of what that means in a lady lecture so let me know if you'd be interested in that and also leave any suggestions down below for lady lectures in the future if you would like and I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye! I wish I